Your ball's landed in a bunker. No need to tense up if you know how to play the shot. Find a lot of amateurs and a lot of good golfers struggle in the bunker. There's no reason to if you know the basics. I'm going to take you through the stance and the setup and show you the swing. When playing the bunker shot, it's very important to address the ball correctly. Your stance, you've got to have a nice firm footing, so dig your feet in, you're allowed to. Open the club face a little bit and play the ball out the centre or back off centre, never forwards in the stance. So my ball is in the centre of my stance, my club face is slightly open and I've got a good footing. Okay, make sure you dig your feet in nicely. You want to have a firm stance that you don't slip around in the sand. My main focus in this shot is to make quite a full swing. Remember, your golf club's coming in contact with a lot of sand. It's going to slow the golf club down and it's basically going to make impact a little bit soft. If you want to get the ball out a nice long distance, you've got to make a nice long swing. Even a short distance requires at least more than a half swing. You've got to make three quarters to full swings in this shot. The ball's in the centre. What I'm going to try and do is hit the sand between those lines. I'm going to have the ball exactly in the middle of that. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to hit the sand, not the ball. If you make contact with the ball, you're not going to be successful at these shots. You've got to hit the sand. And you've got to try and get the sand onto the green. My grip pressure is quite relaxed in the shot. If you've got tight hands, you're going to slow the club down through the sand. I'm making a nice full shoulder turn and a full swing. So if you picture a little egg over here, and the, the ball being the yellow of the egg, that circle I've just made, being the white of the egg, the nice bright egg, you're going to try and hit the white out, and the yellow's going to come out with it. Remember to make a nice full swing, and a big follow through. See, I played a decent shot because I attacked the sand and I made a good follow. You hit your approach shot into the bunker and you've encountered a little bit of a slope. I'm first going to go through the upslope and how to make the shot easy. When playing an upslope shot, line yourself up the slope. So try and get everything angled the way the slope's angled. My knees, my hips, my shoulders, the club, everything's angled up the slope. I'm opening the club a little bit so I can clear the lip. Okay, I find many people very frightened of hitting these shots in case the ball goes under the lip. Remembering if you're angled up the slope, the club's angled up the slope, and because it's pointing a bit to the right and it's a bit open, you've got more loft on the club, so it's much easier to clear the lip. Now, when you're angled up the slope, You've got to swing a lot further because the club's got more loft on it. So the ball is going to go up very quickly and when it goes high, it's not going far. So I've really got to commit to the shot and make a full swing. I'm going to try and hit the sand up the slope. The ball landed and stopped very quickly. That's the advantage of playing off an upslope. Trying to get the sand all the way to the hole. You can see you've got a plug live here. Yeah. Doesn't happen often, but when it happens, you want to play the shot well. You don't want to rehearse this too much. It's a swing wrecker. If you're going to practice plug lies, you're going to wreck your golf swing. So don't practice it too much, but know how to play it when you encounter it. Ball's a little bit back of centre. I dig my feet in and I grip down on the club. It's the only shot in golf that you don't follow through. So I'm hitting straight onto the ball. Remembering I'm not hitting the ball. I'm trying to drop the club in very steeply. I'm going to try and hit the sand just behind the ball. Normal bunker shots, you turn the face to the right. 
You open the face, here you don't. If you open the face, you're not going to get all the way into the sand. You're going to play for this hole over here. It's going to be difficult to control the distance, but we just want to get it out. Playing a little bit back in my stance. Square club face. I'm picking the club up and I'm hitting down. All my weight's on my left. I'm trying to have about 90% of the weight on this foot. We now encounter the lob shot. Your ball's lying quite thick. You've got very little green to work with. Okay, you've got very little green to work with over there. And you need to get the ball up very high, very quickly. And you need to land it very softly. For that, you use a lob wedge. And the way you play the shot, it's quite a full swing. It's not a chip shot, and it's not a full shot. I wouldn't use my lob wedge from too far away. You've got to use it from around the green. Going for the front hole over here, but no green to work with. You've got to get the ball up quick. We're still on slopey lies in bunkers. And you can see we've encountered another unfortunate situation. It's almost impossible to hit this one. Well, that's what you think. Remember the one thing on slopey lies in bunkers is always to line yourself with the slope. So if I'm on the upslope, I'm lining up the slope. And if I'm on the downslope, I'm lining up down the slope. Now here, you don't have that option because the ball's all the way down there. I can't do much leg work, so I've got to hit this one with my upper body and arms. I'm going to open the club a little bit to get a good impact through the sand and to clear the lip of the bunker over here. that any day. We've encountered another difficult situation. Your approach shot's landing in the bunker and you're on a downslope. Okay, it's quite a steep downslope. Um, there's also a very big lip in front of us which is going to be difficult to clear. I've chosen my 60 degree lob wedge for the job because remember when you're lining yourself up down the slope, you're de-lofting the club. So you're basically making your, your wedge or whatever you normally play with into about a seven iron. So I'm using 60 degrees. I'm gonna try and open it up a bit. Remembering I'm aligning myself down the slope and swinging down the slope. All my weight is gonna be on my left foot throughout the shot. Never get it on the right foot on these shots. Otherwise you're gonna hit the top of the ball and you're gonna land up under the lip. You can see I'm lined up down the slope. I've got the club open and I'm swinging down the slope. You can see this lip over here is in the way. So I'm going to use a bit more wrist action. I'm swinging down the slope. All my weight is on the left foot, remember, and it's going to stay there throughout the swing. A little bit of a cheeky shot there, just clearing the lip. Remember, if you use your lob wedge, you're allowed to be cheeky. We're in the bunker again, and we've got a hard pan lie. If it's been raining, the ground's a bit wet, the soil's a bit clay, you can have a hard pan lie. With this shot, you've got to get the club in really fast, and really steep, almost like a plugged lie. So the ball's going to be slightly back in my stance, gripping a bit lower on the club. My swing is very similar to a downslope swing. I'm going to pretend I'm on a downslope, and I'm going to swing down the slope. I'm going to have a sharp wrist action going back. The ball's going to be back in my stance slightly. I'm going to hit very much down with all my weight on the left throughout the swing. So the ball's back, gripping down. I'm swinging down.
I'll be happy with that shot. Well, I'm down here again, having lots of fun on the golf course. You can see I've got another tough situation. I want an uphill slope. Okay, so the ball's above my feet, and I'm in the sand again. So it's a tough shot for anyone if they're just in the sand, but now I've got to contend with the slope. Remember, on a downhill slope, I'm lining up down the slope. Well, here, I'm lining up my spine up the slope, and I'm flattening out my swing a little bit. So I'm swinging more around. I'm gripping down on the club, so that I don't come in too steep. Okay, and I'm trying to swing it a little more around my body. I'm swinging more around my body, my spine's a little more upright, and I'm gripping down on the club, so that I don't get too much sand. 